Well, according to my geometry teacher, a sphere is not supposed to have an edge, but this one did, and also a bono. That's funny. <laughs> the headliners uh, of one of the world's most unique music venues that just opened in Vegas, and it's called The Sphere. Uh, not <laughs> Even Vegas has never seen anything like it. I'm just so struck by the images, I just cannot look yeah. away. The high-tech venue features more than one million lights and costs $2.3 billion to create. Joining us on set now is CBS News senior culture correspondent Anthony Mason. Anthony has made fun of my jokes regarding the edge as dad jokes, but that was next level. No, I that think. was really good. That was I really well like done, actually. Yeah. I would take put that in the script. Yeah. Here all Beautiful. afternoon, you guys. Uh, <laughs> so, Anthony, the venue here is clearly a star in addition to whoever performs yeah, it. Yeah, and in yeah. many ways, it's the biggest star, I think. And that, that's the funny part. I mean, the reviews from the, the opening show was Friday night. Uh, I, it's almost impossible to describe. It's, it's like it, it makes IMAX look Mickey Mouse. I mean, it really does. It's the entire exterior of the building is a screen. Almost the entire interior of the building is a screen. It, the only thing that, that blocks it is actually the, it, the stands where, where the audience sits. Wow. There you can see the, the stunning light show uh, that you can do behind anything you want to do in, the, in, in, that, in that venue. It holds between 17 and 20,000 people, depending on, on, uh, on what kind of show you're putting on. But as you can see, the light show is absolutely stunning. I mean, this is already a landmark on the Vegas skyline, mm. and it's far from the tallest building in town. You know, when we arrived by cab last week to go there, you come around the corner, and all of a sudden, there it is. I mean, and it, can, and it can be, and sometimes it's like a giant eyeball. Sometimes it's a globe, you know, whatever they want it to be. And it's wow. constantly changing. It's, it's, you know, it, I think the, the pre predictions were that it could change live entertainment. And I think it very well may. Wow. It Amazing. looks like it. I mean, look, I mean, I think for any artist performing in a place like this, in a space like this, you shouldn't be nervous because it's so distracting that if you mess up, the lights will take over. But well, I know you spoke with Bono and The Edge. Were they nervous about the big show? Because they, they actually the were. I mean, they, they, the this was first pitched to them a couple of years ago. Um, their creative team actually was against it. Uh, and but they went to see it and they came away saying basically we we have to do this. Yeah. They are of course a band that's always been kind of on the cutting edge technology in their concerts going back to Zoo TV when Octung Baby came out and uh, and they've always been there and they like being on the leading edge of that kind of thing. So this was you know they were the perfect match for this and they have the kind of creative team that can create a show. Mm -hmm. This is a huge space you have to fill in terms of the video screen. Yeah. You can't just leave it blank. You have to put something up there that it's interesting. And the interesting thing part is that the show can be both epic, spectacular, but intimate at the same time because you can do so much with that screen. Wow, that's super. So, you're, I mean, if you're not you too, if you're not that this level is the of a question band, that can I you, have. can you occupy that space? This is the question I have. And I even asked the band, I said, how do you play anywhere else after you've played this? You and know, how is anybody oh, else going to compete with right. what you two is able to put out there? I think that's going to be the dilemma for the venue, at least in the beginning, because mm -hmm. you have to put together it. They spent a year and a half building the video that goes around this show. And wow. they initially they were going to do like five dates. They've expanded that to 25 all the way through mid-December. I don't think it's going to go longer than that. Mm -hmm. It could. But you need you know, you're going to need to stay a while in order to justify the cost of, I think, creating the arc that effectively goes up on the screen around you. But it changes your show. And the and the outside of the sphere, that's something that's always lit. I mean, that's anytime all, you all, go, as, at least as long okay. as I was there, it was always lit. Yeah, it seems like it's something that's worth just going to see. It's, it's I mean, you, it's, yeah. it's so interesting because of the because of the round edges, everything else in 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 Vegas is rectangular or square. Yeah. And suddenly there's this round thing. And as they say, it's not the tallest building. But you notice it immediately. I'm sure when you land, because the airport yep, is so close to land. the strip, I can imagine just landing. And, and it was right that. outside our hotel window, and it was this, you know, it was there up going all night. Ah, uh, well, you need you need good curtains then for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Anthony, although nobody sleeps in yeah. Vegas. Anthony, thank you so much. Sure thing. Excited you, to check it out.